It's colossal, it's ever hungry, it tears stars apart, and not even light can escape its gravity. It's hard to embrace the fact black holes exist. And sure, they're absolutely impossible, mathematically. Let me explain, starting from what we think black holes are. A black hole appears when a huge star meets the end of its life cycle. Eventually, it runs out of all the resources to further set itself ablaze. Smaller stars, like the Sun, would simply cool down and become brown dwarfs. But stars like this one are too massive. Instead of cooling down, they burst into a huge supernova. Remains of the star then collapse under their own gravity into an infinitely dense dot, extremely massive and tiny at the same time. The resulting black hole has an event horizon, a dark area of space where gravity is so huge it overpowers even the speed of light. Beyond the event horizon lies an accretion disk, gas spinning at an incredible speed and attracted to the black hole. Deep beyond the impenetrable veil of the event horizon lies a singularity. Singularity is the point in which density becomes infinite and it breaks all nature's laws we know of. Even math simply stops working here because it can't properly work with infinite numbers. In other words, you can say singularity shouldn't be possible. Black holes don't just swallow matter around them. They also consume all the information about every tiny particle they swallowed. In quantum physics, it's impossible for the information to get simply deleted from reality. But that's what black holes do. Despite the fact black holes slowly evaporate and so give away their mass and energy, they won't return this information to the universe. And this shouldn't be possible. Maybe astronomers see something that looks and behaves just like a black hole should. But at the same time, math shows that black holes can exist at all without breaking lots of nature's laws. Some scientists also suggest that singularity can't form in a supernova. And instead, a star should simply go boom with no black hole appearing. If no information can just disappear, then maybe it goes somewhere else. Some simulations suggest there's no singularity inside a black hole. In these simulations, the pressure inside the event horizon grows to the extreme, and then it suddenly becomes weaker. This would mean that there is something else beyond the center of a black hole. It might be a wormhole, a tunnel going through the space-time. That's where we get to the idea of white holes. They're mirrored twins of black holes. They spew matter, energy, and information around them, and don't let anything, even light, come in through their event horizons. White holes should exist in theory, but they're nowhere to be found in the real universe. They might be the exit points of wormholes, and we don't see them because we only see entering points, black holes, while white holes are in some other unreachable space. For example, in another universe. Ooh. Some researchers think we need to replace the impossible singularity with something more imaginable. According to them, black holes are jam-packed with another mystery of the universe, the dark energy. This would solve two problems at once, but there's too much unknown about dark energy to say for sure. A Planck star may be another candidate to replace singularity. Such a star would be much more tangible than an infinitely dense dot and would also contain all the information lost beyond the event horizon of a black hole. While losing mass with time, a Planck star would become bigger, at some point meeting with the event horizon itself and making a black hole disappear in a burst of any leftover mass and information. Whatever astronomers call black holes, the universe wouldn't be the same without them. Every galactic center we know contains a supermassive black hole in it, it's possible these black holes emerged long ago, when galaxies only started to form. They might serve as anchors that give shapes to galaxies and keep them together. Without them, galaxies wouldn't exist or be completely different. Otherwise, black holes could have appeared later than galaxies formed and caused massive destruction. In this case, they got supermassive only because they had a lot to swallow in the center of the galaxy where new stars form all the time. If massive old stars didn't burst into supernovas in the process of becoming stellar black holes, rare elements wouldn't spread across the universe. 
For this reason, the Earth never would have had elements like phosphorus or nitrogen. Without them, life could never form on our planet, and we wouldn't exist. Some believe black holes will eventually swallow all the universe. So it might be a good thing if they weren't real. But the fact is, the universe is simply too big. Even the largest black hole won't be powerful enough to attract distant stars to it. A black hole without matter around it to snack on is completely harmless. Black holes also help astronomers to observe the far reaches of our universe. Their gravitational fields attract light to them and act like a magnifying glass. They distort the image, but not beyond recognition, helping us to further map the universe. Black holes' existence was first predicted by none other than Albert Einstein in his theory of general relativity developed between 1905 and 1915. According to it, black holes should exist, but they're hard to see with any kind of telescopes. Instead of looking for black holes themselves, astronomers search stars and gas clouds affected by them. Black holes disturb the space around them by attracting everything with gravity. Sometimes, astronomers saw stars spinning around hardly visible massive objects emitting X-rays, which suggested that they saw black holes. If two black holes collide with each other, they release ripples across the universe called gravitational waves, and astronomers were able to detect those too. And finally, in 2019, scientists even took a photo of a black hole. There's just too much evidence of black holes' existence. Math might show they're impossible, but that's because of misconceptions science still has about them. Unfortunately, it's impossible to observe a black hole's insides directly. Even if we find a way to deliver a probe to one, it would simply get crushed by the black hole's gravity. And even if it goes beyond the event horizon, we won't get any information back from there. Quite a conundrum, eh?